Hello, Fort Fam, and welcome. We are playing Dragon Age the Veilguard today. I have been very excited for this one. For those that don't know it, pretty much anything dragons is a hit for me. So I'm extremely excited to load this up and give it a try. You should know going into this, I have not consumed any reviews. I have no pre-existing expectations of what this game should be. And it's going to be a completely unbiased and neutral playthrough. We're going to get really into it. We're going to do all the side activities because I am a hopeless loot goblin. So we're going to go find all the shinies, meet all the NPCs, and go through the full story. It's going to be a long one. There's no way I'm going to put this all in one episode. Those who know the channel know I like long Let's Play episodes. And this will undoubtedly be a long one. Um, but it's not going to be the full campaign in one episode. So we'll probably do 5 to 10 hour blocks. I haven't decided which one I'm going to do yet. So you're just going to come along for the ride. And the timestamp on the video is going to tell you exactly how long it is anyway. So you know what to expect. With all that out of the way, I am Darling slash Lil, and I'll be your host today. We're going right in. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny. Depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in. All right, here we are. Character creation screen. Um... We don't know what we're going to do yet. Elf's always really appealing, appealing to me. Um, we're going to definitely do a female today. Let's see. Human. Dwarf. I'm too much of an elf. I'm sorry. We're going in. All right. So. Definitely going to go. I tend to like myself. Or like to make my characters look somewhat like me. Um. As long as they can have pink hair. And you would say that probably doesn't look like you because it has pink hair. You'd be wrong. I have pink hair. So deal with it. Um, We're going to go in. Starting preset. Oh, not bad. <laughs> we do have this this chin going on. She's definitely got a little bit more feminine of a chin. Uh, this actually isn't too bad. Uh, the eyes need a little bit of work. But the general face shape is fine. We'll, uh, I love some of these presets. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving this. Yep, loving you too. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go with her. Yep. Okay. We just escaped to go back. Perfect. Let's work on our head shape. Set features to default. For the best head blending experience, we recommend setting all facial feature sliders to their base values. This can also be done from the reset button at a later time. Would you like to do this? Yeah, let's do base values. Sure. All right, we're going to take a second. Ooh, select a head to more. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not hating this. Really not. I need to get, like, super deep into it. I like to go... Ooh. Ah. Uh... That's, that's pretty cool. I want to go this. Yeah, I kind of like this blend in the middle, if I'm being honest. I 
Okay, let's see. Hide her hair. Really quick. Not half bad. A lot, a little bit of a sloping, sloping face here. Okay. Head shape, complexion, skin tone. I'm kind of tan right now still, even though it's getting cooler out. Youthful? Um, let's just go through some of these. Freckled. Oh, I definitely have some freckles going. I don't mind putting some freckles in there. Oh, yeah. Yep, we got some freckles. Oh, some scars. From, okay, vitiligo. Okay. I tried. What are we what are we working with here? A little bit. A little bit. Mm, yeah, that's actually more natural for me. Okay. Alright. Complexion, forehead and brow, let's see. Ah uh, yes, here's where we can get a I'm gonna go. There's something in between. We gotta we gotta do a little bit of work. Can flatten? Oh, that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I kind of like my forehead to look a little normal. Width. Oh, forehead width. Not gonna lie, guys, I got some, some wide forehead brows. Uh, oh, this kind of pushes it out to be like a widow's peak. Yeah, I kind of like the normalizing of this curved shape. Yeah, okay. Brow spacing. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some, oh, yeah, that that did a lot for her. There we go. Well, let's see. What to do over here. A little bit of curving. Go with that. Hey, okay. higher eyebrows. Mm, maybe not that high. Inner position. Mm hmm. That makes it look a little softer. I am. Here we go. We gotta work on these lips. Really, it's her lips that are thrown. <laughs> oh, that's like the depth of the brow. Probably gonna most be seen right here. There we go. Um, cheeks and jaw. Yeah, we we gotta work on these cheeks and the lady. Depth. We gotta get some some depth to these cheeks. A little bit of a stick out, but not much. Um, height. Where? Between. Get this width in. I definitely do not have cheeks. Slide. There we go. There. Dauntness? Oh. Yeah, uh, we're not going all the way, but this is a little bit too gaunt for me. I don't like this. Jowls. We <laughs> we do not have jowls. Overbite. And do we have an underbite? Mm, not really. Even this out. Maybe like that. Height. I think the jaw height's throwing me off a little bit. She's got kind of a a long jaw. But let's get just ever so slightly. Sometimes these face designers are a little too real for me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody says. I want more realism. Sometimes I don't <laughs> want my video game characters to look as much like a normal person as possible because sometimes then you have to realize I'm staring at this person and I feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is a real person we're dealing with right here. I'm getting to edit all the features. All right. Uh, <laughs> their upper body is a little intense too. Chin, yeah. Chin bump? Oh, uh, I don't really have a chin bump. Like a little one, maybe? Width? <laughs> That's a very pointy chin. Okay, depth. There we go. Get some chin depth. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. Get some, some chin up in there. We still need to work on the lips, but... <laughs> Our chin is not that, not that short. Uh, double chain going on. Definitely not into the negatives, though. Uh, yeah, we're good with just a normal 0% chin. Uh, cheeks, jaw, chin, larynx. Scalp? Wait, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, well. We're gonna just leave that at alone. Really. One of those. Anyway. Scalp. I do not care this much about the top of your head that I cannot see because it's behind the hair. All right. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Yeah, let's, let's fix up our, uh, our little lady here. That's a little better. You don't need to be crazy. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Short. Yeah. I'm a little bit leaner than... <laughs> I'm not short and stocky. I'm a little bit taller than average. Actually, no, I'm pretty average. I'm only 5'5". Five five. I think that's average. Um, We're definitely a little bit muscular, though. Yeah, we're gonna go. About there. Body proportions. Loot. Mm. <laughs> uh, does my glute size in a video game matter this much? Mm. It's supposed to some. You have very wide high hips and a very tiny waist. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it's why I have scoliosis. Thank you for, like, not making the boob slider massive. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go just a little, like, how tall is tall? I don't know how tall you are, my lady. You're an elf, probably pretty tall. Okay. Um, you gotta really work on this nose and mouth really quickly. Don't worry, there will be chaptering down below, so if you want to skip character creation, you can do that. But at the same time, I feel obligated to somewhat show people these features. It's important to know what you can do in a game. Yeah, just fixing the lips helped you a lot. Okay. Drop this down ever so slightly. Lip thickness? Definitely. I have thin lips, but I definitely do not have... Super thick lips, either. Mouth corner position. I'm always smiling, not gonna lie. So we're gonna... I don't want it to be too curved, because then you're gonna have to, like, giggle every time you see a cutscene with my character. But... Okay, let's see what we can do with your nose. You definitely need a smaller nose. Oh, that was the <laughs> opposite of a smaller nose. Too small. Too big. Actually, not bad. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Hang on, let's deal. Crookedness? Oh, that's like left and right. Um. Yep. Uh. Eyes? I need a curve. How do I curve? Nose tip. Up, down. Yeah, I get kind of an up nose. Sorry. No long nose? Thing offset. Yeah. There we go. This is not bad. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty fine with this. Putting the nose nostrils down just a here with this bridge. Oh yeah, I need to down just a tiny bit. Um, nose bone. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so mine's not super crazy. But it is in a little bit. Definitely kind of a higher. This is crazy. Sorry. The fact that I'm a 3D artist and animator for, like, people that don't know anything about me. Um, so just like seeing all these sliders of somebody who's done 3D characters before, it was just kind of crazy where gaming and characters have come. Okay, I'm pretty happy with her. Um, we're definitely gonna take a look at the eyes really quickly. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's kind of better. Um, not too bad. Left. Yep. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of depth. Tilt? Hmm. Yeah, my eyes are definitely kind of tilted. Vertical distance? Yeah, I kind of like that. Fitted? Oh, okay. Uh, that's not too bad. I don't mind a little bit of that. Um, surprised there's not like an overall. Huh. Eye shape. Else. Eye color. Uh. And mine are a little bit more blue. Duration. Mm -mm. A little bit of brightness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about that. These other blues. So many pretty blues. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go. Uh, bloodshot? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, cataracts? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, creepy. Uh, that's Jadis. You need to go to a doctor. That's possession. Anyway. <laughs> oh, heterochromia? That's cool. Uh, eyebrows? I'm not pretty fine with these eyebrows, if I'm being on it. I definitely can pin down the mascara a little. Not a makeup wear. Ears. What kind of ears do we want? Do I want big elf ears? I like the... Yeah, this one's kind of nice. I'm going to have hair on the whole time, so admittedly, I'm not going to care anymore about that. Let's see our hair. So Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. How many hairstyles are there? 88 styles. Wow. Um, yeah, so let's be honest. If I was running around, I would have one of two hairstyles. Probably just loose hair. But come on, we're adventurers. We, we gotta, like, tie our hair back. I actually did used to wear my hair like this all the time. I might go with that one. But let's take a look at some others. Kind of rocking the ponytail vibe. I like how my hair is whipping my character. Anyway, kind of like this long side flowing look. I've had that hairstyle a bit before. Quite the braided experience there. Shorter hair. This hair is immaculate. For anybody that doesn't know, each little singular strand of hair is its own thing. And the fact that they've styled them in this direction, you have no idea how much I appreciate this. This is insane. I've had to do hair in one of my classes only, and it was a nightmare. This is, like, gorgeous. A huge props to whoever was doing their hair. Okay? Y'all better appreciate this. Your gamers are spoiled. You have no idea how long it probably took to do this hair. The hair alone. And 88 hairstyles. Holy heckums. Anyway. <laughs> That's my long rant about hair over. I'm gonna go with this hair, but we gotta we gotta make this the right color, my friends. Yeah, pink. Only pink will do. Get some saturation in there. Mm-hmm. Turn the brightness down a little. No. All right. Yeah. That's the color my hair was this when I first dyed it. This is the color it is now after a few washes. Uh, it's kind of like this. So we're gonna go with this because this is my. My favorite in shade. Okay. This was our lady. You know, I love you, lady, but you're a little too buff. I'm definitely not that buff. But if we were in the Dragon Age world swinging a sword, we'd probably have some nice muscles like this. We'll go with it. See the different. Oh, you can see the different. <gasps> this is so cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's cool. Um. I don't really care. Tattoos. Ooh, what tattoos do we have? <gasps> Ew. I might do this. Do they have a dragon? 
those are like snakes. Oh, loving the tree of life vibe of this one. We're an elf with the tree of vibe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. What color are we making it? I'm not loving the pink matching, but I'm probably gonna go with a dark color. Yeah. Um, is there a way to not have the one on the chin? This one's kind of cool. It's a rope. Ooh. I'm kind of loving that. Vibing. Ooh, ch choker girl. Yeah. Could do it. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm like too into this. Now. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to that. Oh, body tattoos? Please tell me there's a dragon. Ooh. It's like a serpent sword. <gasps> oh, we're doing it. Yep. Has to be done. Not making any apologies for it. Has to be done. Yep. Can we get this like a dark... We're tatted up. I've got a tattoo, so I love tattoos. Anyway, I am happy with this, I think. Yeah. She, her, they, them, he, him, fantastic. Woman, non binary, man, perfect. Okay. Um, class, this is what we're gonna do. Mage, warrior, or rogue? Rogue's hallmarks are quick movement and reflexes. Whether yielding a bow or dual swords, they are they use powerful, precise strikes for lethal damage. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to go with, if I'm being honest. I'm currently a tank in WoW, but let's be honest, I prefer the ranger. I always struggle with playing mage and wizard classes. Aspirational armor type? I kind of like the starting outfit, too. Okay, continue. Faction. Your faction choice influences Rook's backstory and conversation choices. Grey Wardens, Veil Jumpers, Shadow Dra All right, it's Shadow Dragon, so I might have to go with it, but I need to read all their lore first. We're going to go through all of them for everybody. Um, again, if you don't want to read or listen to it, just skip with the chapters. Rook is an Ativan Crow, Swift Knives in the Dark. The Crows are Ruthless Assassins. Both respected and feared as Antiva's shadowy protectors. Gain reputation with the Antivan crows. More quickly. Deal increased damage. All an extra vision. Hi. Rook is a Morn Watcher. This elite necromantic order explores the mysteries of life and death and tends to the undead in Navarra's sprawling grand necropolis. Deal increased damage versus undead and demons. Hmm. Okay. Lords of Fortune? Probably not. Rook is a Lord of Fortune, an informal collection of explorers, hunters, and treasure seekers from Rivain. The rowdy lords are famed for both daring exploits and narrow escapes. I don't know, though, because I'm, you know, I'm a loot goblin. I said it at the beginning of the video. Uh, Shadow Dragons. This underground resistance opposes corrupt rulers and slavery into Vinter. Coming from all walks of life, they are determined to bring justice to the people. I might have to go with this one because this is me. Not going to lie. Sorry. The Veil Jumper. This daring group explores ancient elven runes in Ar Arlathun Forest. Brave founded by elves, they welcome anyone brave enough to face Ar Arlathan's reality warping magic. The Fade Touch. Deal slightly increased crit and weak point damage. Resource regenerates slightly faster. Okay. Rook is a Grey Warden, an ancient military order sworn to battle Darkspawn and other monsters. The Wardens undergo secret, unbreakable rites that grant them supernatural powers against the Dark. Deal increased damage versus Darkspawn. Base defense and health are slightly increased. So, 
I'm torn between these two because I'm really into elven stuff. Mm, their daring group explores ancient elven ruins. I love exploring. Am I, I can't really say I'm a justice warrior. I definitely stand and oppose against the corruption of the world, but I'm not really like the forefront person to take it on. I prefer to kind of fight the back end wars. Coming from all walks of life. Um, I think I'm going to go with Veil Jumpers. I really am like. I play these games like, <laughs> um, oh gosh, Robin Hood. That's the way to do it. So I like my loot and I help people when I can, but I don't tend to super, super invested. Okay. Backstory, Hunter of Secrets. When lives are, sorry. When lives were at stake, Rook defied orders to rescue people from the mystic perils of Arlathan. On an expedition, on an expedition to ruins in Arlathan Forest, the Veil Jumpers found ruins that contained important lost lore and deadly danger. Barely surviving the ruins as ancient magical defenses, Rook's small team recovered an invaluable map leading to a hidden area of the forest. Although the team escaped, other Veil Jumpers found themselves trapped. Rook chose to return to the ruins, saving her teammates' lives, but losing the map. She was lauded for her bravery, but the map's loss caused some resentment among Veil Jumper leaders. Okay. Play style? Ooh. Ah. Uh, okay, so these are the difficulties. Unbound. Here to chart a new path. Some settings may impact your enjoyment if customized. If this is your first time, consider a curated preset instead. Nightmare. We're not doing that. Underdog, here to be pushed to the limit. Adventure, here for action and adventure. A balanced experience that places equal emphasis on combat, party composition, and equipment choices. A balanced combat experience that emphasizes party composition and equipment choices over reaction times. Mm, let's go with adventure. You can always turn it down, right? And we are going to go with one I always go with. Okay. Um... I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Okay. I'm glad I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. We can customize? Oh. So this is past adventure. So if you played Dragon Age Inquisition, I think. Interesting. Okay. You can customize the main character and a few events from previous games. This will have some minor effects, but can be skipped if you wish to move on. <gasps> if you played the Dragon Age Inquisition game and you made certain choices that you would like to have impact your adventure in this story, you can do that by customizing this right here. That is very cool. Okay. Summary. Zephyra Alduir. I'm a rogue. Let us begin. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. 
and a missing contact. Oh my god, the texture design. Let's try this again. Where's Nevgalus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? <laughs> oh, oh. So here is where we pick. I'm a target out. You're going to hate me for it, but. It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know, it's. It's the smart play here. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly something I would say. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nevgalus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. <laughs> Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. Talking things out always goes better. I don't know why people don't know that. And worse comes to worse, they say no. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. Oh, I love this. The friend of Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. <laughs> yeah. Do you say that? But we do have Nev's location now, so. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. This is a hope Nev's as good a friend of people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more hurry to get out of here? My we gosh. don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. Nice. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the fade this and an endless number class. of demons. I have to talk him down. I'm a little blown away. Go on then. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... What the heck? Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. And oh. then will get us to Solus. Watch out! Oh, that's a demon dog. My guess is the veil is weakening. 
And they're slipping through the cracks. And when the veil comes down completely? Then the whole world is going to look a lot like this. <laughs> Come on, oh. this way! It should get us to Harding! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? <laughs> Never better. Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Ah, oh, yes. Give me Where's a bow. Nef Gallus? <laughs> Give Wasn't me a bow. Was she the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up. We've got company. <sighs> All right. Demon. Perform a light attack. Yep, yep. Use your light attack up to five times in a row to create a, an attack chain. The last hit is a final attack and deals increased damage. And here they come. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Tap Q to defend against incoming attacks. I think that's the last of them. Okay. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza. Oh, and find there's something them. shiny over here. You two, all right. Patch yourselves up if you need it. <laughs> I don't get it. If Solus tears down oh, the I'm veil, allowed to lose. doesn't that destroy oh, everything? Oh, mama. Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. You know we're looting. I mean, what did you expect? Can you destroy these? Yes, you can for potions. Good to know. You are in violation of Imperial order. I don't think the demons care if they're in violation of oh, no, Imperial order, good sir. Crap. Let's move. Oh. They're the ones who made trouble at the ball. Oh well. The demons saved us some work. Venatory cultists. I hate these assholes. Looks like the Venatori put up a barrier to block the way. Uh -huh. I don't want to jump off the edge here. I feel like that would be very bad. Yes, yeah, so these green things are potions. Did you see them? Okay. Destroy nearby crystals to bring them down. Oh, uh-uh. Good sir. Avenge our fallen brethren! Friendly bunch of cultists are. Cross paths with them in the veil jumpers. We're hunting for magic. There we are. Oh, right click for my bow. Okay. Oh, we need this reaction speed up way higher. I'm sorry to pause it in such a we're gonna we're gonna turn a little bit of the audio down. Just just to hear. In fact, I don't even necessarily think it's that. Sound effects. 
let's turn just like global. That's fine. Um, mouse sensitivity. We got to crank this up. Mouse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe crank this down a little bit and this up. Let's see how much that does. That is so slow. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Sorry if, uh, wait, what am I doing? Controls. I'm going to save the game. I feel like this is a, oh, it auto saves. Okay. Uh, main story. Just see the auto saves. All right. That's a little better. I can deal with that. Let's turn our main one down because it's definitely a little bit intense for the main mouse sensitivity. Okay. It's still a little bit high. Sorry, I'm too used to be playing FPS games now that I like have a certain sensitivity that I like. Yeah. Okay. That's better. Good, good. This should also make your guys' life yes, more enjoyable. Down. Oh, we get to slide. Time to take a tumble. Can I attack like this? No. But you bet your butt. Kill them all. Use tab to select your new static strikes abilities. Rogues should generate. Read that up. Rogues generate momentum by attacking enemies uninterrupted. Use tab. Mouse over your ability. Select it. Mm hmm. And then click him. And then just tab, I guess. Oh, I'm loving this. No, it's uh, sit down. Ah, don't duck when I'm trying to hit you. Thank you. Another barrier. Oh, like your I love that your bow recharges arrows. Let's have that. Yeah, this is gonna be. A oh, <laughs> uh, she told me to investigate. I just wanted to slash it, you know. Hiding. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori <laughs> in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Harding and I found her a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but she tends to think in straight lines. <laughs> uh, nice job. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I love the sass in these conversations so far. I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. I like her. All citizens in the canal district must remain in their homes.
So, if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up Poor fight, dudes. we're dead. Shiny thing under you. Oh, never mind. It's just, it's just a torch. <laughs> we got some demons, Chrissy, crawling over there. We can slide down the line to get. I'm getting too old for this. All right, but the fact that this is just running like butter right out the gate, I'm exceptionally there. That's happy. That's the building I tracked so Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. I haven't had to adjust a single graphic setting. And I'm very happy about it. Yeah, we always have to check the loot, so I'm sorry if I'm getting distracted, but you know. There's loot over here, so. This is where we need to go. I feel like it's over here. Can I take either bridge? I can take this bridge. Seems more steady. Ranged attack. Oh, now it wants to teach me. Yeah, I already figured this out, game. No worries. Oh, no, you're coming quick. There's more of them. No, sir. I know. Now I need to recharge them. Let's get rid of one of you at least. Ooh, one shot. Nice. Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. You can get it, but hang on. Let me check the loot. Okay, we no loot. Back. Solus is probably inside. Yep, yep. Probably. So this is the Dreadwolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Not sure how long he's mm. been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. The Dreadwolf. Uh... broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. <laughs> yes, yes it does, my friend. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah. Trying to control it, maybe? Sorry, Solus my dragon said friend. the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. Oh, hello. Can I, like, cancel this? Oh, that's right. I need to remember my tab. Any more of you friends? No? I'll take the health potion. There's a definitely loot up here. Oh, no. There's a lever. Hey! <laughs> Pull the lever, Gronk. Jokes on him, it's the it right sounds lever. Like that opened something below. Then let's have a look. This is cool. Hmm. 
gold. We take that. What is in here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. This is a really gorgeous, like, temple, even if it is crumbled. Ooh, the floor is wet. Mmm, I don't like that. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook? I think it's an alluvian. I've seen a few in Arlathan Forest. They're elven. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Time to go through it. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. It's fine. Oh, you're a big boy. Nope. Stop that. Ah. And I thought the demons were bad back in Marathas. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. Oh, well, he's dead. Defeated an enemy by knocking them off a ledge during combat. Achievement acquired. Okay. More demons, I'm sure. We get tremors every time one of those big crystals at the ritual site lights up. Not many of them left to light. Might want to hurry. Oh uh, yeah, I think hurrying would be of the utmost importance. Hmm. He said that, but there's loot over here, so give me one second, my friends. Oh, hello. Two and three. Oh, yes, 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 thank you. to the ritual site. Quite a few of them aren't there. Nothing compared to how many we'll get if Solus finishes his ritual. Chalky. All right, my friend. Hello. Ah. 
Ah, ah, no. Watch the lightning. We're not in it, we're good. How did demon this large get through the veil? It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. Ah, you almost said thank you. You guys can come on. I did that entire fight without getting touched. Let's go. Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. from here are you sure positive you three just keep the demons off me while i talk to him Varric, solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind i believe in you we've got your back if anyone can get through to him you can thanks rook whatever else he is He's my friend. Friend is never and lost. If he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Yeah, that's the way to do it. More demons. Take care of the team for me. Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Time to kill some demons. <sighs> All right. Let's buy him some time. Hey. Okay. Out of my close combat space. I hope Beric is getting through to Solus. You better talk fast. You can't hold these demons off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. Oh, no. People are always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual of this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? <laughs> yeah, Fine. like... But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Mm. I mean, in terms of surviving against ma magic, I'm gonna Let's take go, a Nev. name. Harding. Keep the demons you... busy. Nev, Good sorry. Luck. Oh, 
we gotta walk gentle on that one. I know I'm looking for loot when I shouldn't be. This is it! We need to bring down the scaffolding. One done. Is there more? Oh no, okay. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but it isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Together. Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Uh oh. I don't think you predicted those things coming, did you, my friend? That's blood. <laughs> that is definitely a concussion. You have no idea what you have done. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here, but why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Hmm. I believe him. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. 
corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the blighted elven gods walk free. <laughs> you let them out. Thanks to me. <laughs> I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. <laughs> uh, let's do this. That's really helpful. What are you, the elven god of sarcasm? Lies, treachery, and rebellion, depending upon the story. And how could I help? I do not have my ritual dagger. I cannot access my network of mirrors to travel from the lighthouse to anywhere in the world. All I can offer is what I know. Helpful advice from the Elven God of, and I am quoting you here, lies, treachery, and rebellion. Depending on the story. <laughs> Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. You have exchanged this verbal This is your before. responsibility now. Why? Why tear down the veil? To listen. No! No! Voices on her head? Oh, I'm super used to this. This is fine. Idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, <clears throat> he's alive. Look who's still with us. Varric, you're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I'm sorry, Varric. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like the expedition where you lost that invaluable map, but saved your friends. I'd There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook. Very true. Look who's awake. <gasps> Neem got been injured. I've searching the place for potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into... Something, and it's in the fade, because that's what we needed, the dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt, in theory, and we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me, I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Don't die, Varric. Bonus items. Use the wardrobe to claim your rewards. You've been granted bonus items? Oh? <laughs> yeah, just kick that chest. Plate of the Blood Dragon, Helm of the Blood Dragon, Vestments of the Blood Dragon. I did not pay for the ultimate edition, so I'm not 100% sure. Let's go in here really quick. Let's just check this. Out. Ah, ha, ha. so this... It's just our appearance, though. It doesn't look like... Yeah. So this just goes back. So if you really aren't happy with your character, you can come to this here. 
yeah, I don't need to change anything right now. And I'm not worried about cosmetics this early in, transparently. Um, so we're gonna go started on exploring. I love my high knee kicks. Do I have shoes on? I'm like barefoot right now. I'm digging this. I'd be barefoot in real life too. Um, okay. Library Codex, introduction to the lighthouse. Today we can open the codex. Hmm. All right, here's our map. Ooh, I like the map levels. That's cool. It's nice. Let's just keep going straight into it. Anything else to find around here? Any chairs? Ooh. Read. Three meetings face to face under the sky. Okay. Seems like a hint of some kind. Whoa. This is very cool. We got some floating bookcases. Sure. But we're going back outside. Whoa. Rook, you're awake, and we're... In fate. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little. We might be here a while. I'm all for looking for loot. Fine with that. <laughs> okay. Level two. Dear skills. Do you want to be a saboteur? Definitely a ranger. I have to be honest. I'm always a bow girl. I'd rather have a bow any day of the week. Level 20 required. So these are like the finals. Oh, that's pretty sick though. Swift is the win. The NT Van Crow Duelist specializes in dancing between blades and punishing enemies with devastating melee blows. Using tactics learned in Arlathan, the Veil Ranger specializes in bringing down targets with charged, long-range shots, and pinpoint accuracy. Please. A true swashbuckler, the Lords of Fortune Saboteur specializes in using explosives and other contraptions to weaken enemies, control the battlefield, and handle even the most dangerous situations. That looks hilariously fun. All right, and then we have little, ah, key little points. Burst. High damage, weapon attacks, and heavy impact abilities focused on bows and long range combat. Aim for the head. Absolutely. Always aim for the head. Uh, bow damage, weak points, and special bow abilities. Lord of Fortune, focused on trapping and exploiting enemies. This is cool. Support aspects include counterattacks, defensive abilities, damage bonuses, and effect duration. Melee attacks and parry. So we're going to go with Veil Jumper for first. And here we are. So we have three unlocks. Exploding arrow, simultaneously performing a light and ranged attack. Attaches a sticky arrow to a target in range. The arrow explodes after a short delay. I like that. Fun. So let's go. We have to go down one of these. Use your speed to launch a powerful attack from an extended dodge. Hmm. Let's go with this. And then we want to go... Hurricane of Blades. We want to go Ranger. Lose 35% less momentum when you take damage. It's a bad thing. Rain of Decay. Rain death from above. Damage is inflicted each second to all enemies. Like this. That is that. We do not have any more points. 
Fairy arrow plus 20. Arrows gained after defeating an enemy. Ooh, definitely going that way. Take 15% damage. This is cool. Yeah, I like this. This is a cool little system here. All right. We can see focus points. There's something back to do side, but there's also two things to do out here. So, you know me, uh, maybe you don't. I'm a side quest person. You are going to get dragged along for the whole thing. Content marked with a timer will eventually expire. So these little quests over here will expire if I move past them. That means they're going to get done first. Um, you're coming along for the whole ride. Don't worry, this will all be chaptered out. So if you want to skip side quests, you can do that fairly easily. The wonderful thing about YouTube content Wists. and chaptering. Figures are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You were right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. I made a call that got you injured right after we met. I'll be fine. You trusted me for the job, and I delivered. That's what counts. If we're stuck in this, let's hope you can trust me again. Hmm. Let's hope things go smooth there. All right. But I still wish we had a smoother start. So much for first impressions. Here's hoping I'm better on the second. Well... You're not bad so far. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. Hmm, do we figure this out? Start with the big goal? We definitely shouldn't start with the big goal. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... Well, we, we have, have to, to, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the job. <laughs> Doesn't really matter uh, if we want to. We have to figure this out or we're all stuck here. So, you know, I'm good with this idea. Anything in here? So, that little side interaction. So, it's not even a side quest. It's just a side interaction. Fantastic. Yeah, definitely want to make sure we, we do those. It's over here, I see something shiny. Like the crab from Moana. No? If you don't know, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? More lore. Enter the library passage. Three pairings must meet face to face. Ah, I see. So there's a puzzle. Where's the third one, though? So I definitely think there's going to be a third one. There's that one, right? Where's the third? It says three pairings. Oh. So, ah, uh, I see, I see. Yeah, I figured this out real quick. Read. Look at this place. We planned a rebellion here once, said we'd change the future of the elves, throw off tyrants, and we did. Now the path outside is fractured. It'll be hard rekindling all the alluvians. Solus, if you see this, I'll be looking for you, out in this world and in the mortal one. Don't cause too much trouble before I get there. Repairing space to face, so here's the second pairing. Wait, oh, it just spins in like the direction, okay. Valuable item, common material. Okay. There must be two more. Yep. I 
jump from this? No damage taken, okay. We know one of the other pairings is up here. Go there first. We need to get to it Don't from have back anything here. For you. I know you don't have anything for me, milady. Okay, down here. Library codex. Mm -hmm. That's the second. One more to go. I'm assuming the third one is going to be over there. Not a book I can read. Let's go check this out. Although, are these the same statues I just fixed? Nope. So where's your friend? Over there. Okay. Good meet. Here, common or that was the statues right there. Okay, that please leads to the same. Did something. The library door, does this door open? Yes. What's in here? Scroll. Another codex. Chest, a painted pot. Old. Anything else in here? I do not think so. Got another door. Is Imperial weave. Ooh, I'll take that. Everything is useful at some point. Or at least sellable for gold. Oh, that's going to be the library table, I think, that I have to unlock. So we're going to go over here and talk to Harding. Um, just, yep, me. Okay, but he, that doesn't look all about being able to learn your camera angles. It wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? You have plants. Harding, are you doing all right? I don't know. Are you? Is anyone? Anyway, it doesn't matter how I'm doing. What are we going to do about this mess? We were going to go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that. As soon as we can. You know you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this. And I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So, come get me when you're ready to go. Alright? Okay. I'll leave you to your peace and plants. Uh, don't mind me if I look for treasures while I'm in here. I'll get out of your hair as fast as possible. It does not look like there is anything to be found here, though. Alright, my lady. Be back. Okay. Incense. Oh, there's like plants of your grow down there. That's cool. Yes, 
So we already looked around here. I think we're good. Start. Our next uh, task. Did we go up there? Can we even get up there? Do not think we can get up there. Seems like almost assured death. I do not see any loot. I think it would be assured death for no reason. Anyway. Here we are. Table. <laughs> that I am standing so, on. Okay. We stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey. Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks we all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Hmm. He was in my head. Probably go with this one. While I was out cold, he showed up in my dream, and uh, he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. <laughs> he's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. There's more? Elven gods were dangerous. My gods were dangerous. Um, stop quibbling over terms. Oh, I'd probably go with this one. I worked with the Veil Jumpers. We study ancient elven artifacts, and we've learned a lot of the history. The ancient elves were so powerful that their artifacts are still dangerous thousands of years later. And their gods? They might not literally be gods, but I can only imagine how powerful they are. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elganan and Gilanane, two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. They're definitely worse than Solus. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganan and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around we have two and they're not just powerful they're blighted we need to get out there and stop them just like that we're down a man without varic we can't just rush in i know you're hurt nev but the rest of us need to do something i'll be ready to fight when it's time but we need to investigate then figure out what we're dealing with and how many more people will get hurt get killed while we spend time investigating I mean, I'm not a rush into battle person. And I understand that lives are on the line, but lives are always on the line. And if we lose our lives entirely and we're like the only supposed group. If Elganon and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. 
We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. All right. I like this plan. This is a plan. <laughs> Not just a run in and get murdered. Not really for that idea. Okay, so downstairs, nothing else that we need to do. The downstairs, what is downstairs? I only see upstairs, my friends. Oh, slide, there are stairs. Wait, excuse me? <gasps> Ooh, this opens now. <sighs> yes, please. Memories of a duet. Crystals. Okay. Gold. Always take that. I guess this is probably what we unlocked because this was the thing on the door that said realigning. Does this one open too? Nope. But we can go downstairs now. Dreadwolf's Alluvian. Ooh, that looks a little creepy. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that Alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. I'm going to worry about you. Shall we? Let's do this. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find... was probably the best course of action. Strife? Eelin? What are you doing back in Arlathan? Long story. Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Eelin. They're veil jumpers like me. Experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences? Again. We did, sort of. We did stop him. 
The sky's not pulling itself apart anymore, is it? But... But it didn't go as cleanly as we hoped. Solus got pulled into the Fade and two somethings got pulled out. Or... some ones, I mean. Two of the Evanuris, Elgonan and Gilanane. Methalanast. The elven gods of old. The Evanuris. If they truly have returned... Then things just got a whole lot worse. <laughs> so what's next? So Elgonan and Gilanane are loose. Which means what? You thought Solus was bad. He's a bit of a bastard, true. But next to them? Let's just say they weren't known for their kindness. There's a reason Solus led the rebellion against the Evaniris. And a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course it had to be two of the Evaniris. And of course it had to be you that unearthed them. Hey, why are you blaming in bad me? Shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifact it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... Uh, we'll find Valara. Uh, you're still injured, my friend. Nev, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. It's a headache. I'll be fine. I know you want to help, but we don't know what we'll face out there and you're in no condition to fight. All right. Just watch your backs. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Okay. We're forcing Nev to stay here. She says she doesn't need to die. So gorgeous. Never been to this part of all of them before. This fog's strange. It all feels a little off. How does the map work? Okay, so we have hard. Like everything shifted a little bit. Ah. Is that suit of armor? Oh, hello. Moving? Yes, he is. You got him. Gotcha. Ooh. Oh, people. Where'd you come from? Bellora? Bellora Luter. Strife and Eelan sent us to find you. Wait, didn't you used to be a veil jumper? You left with Varric. What was your name? Rook. At least, that's the nickname Varric gave me. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elganon and Gilanane, they've escaped from Fenharel's prison. And by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. <laughs> okay, yeah. wait. I need a second. Um. I, I want to be the person that says understandable, but right now we don't really have time. Like I said. End of the world. You can mull it over later. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. 
And now? Raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was gonna head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Um, that sounds bad. I think I prefer to stay in one piece, yeah. Right, me too. But I think I can find a way out. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And okay, I'm then in. we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. Okay, going into a bubble of death it is. All right. Um, I like stuff around here, so don't mind me. Someone made camp <gasps> all the way out here. It's like a rabbit pig. There are veil jumper camps Ripples. all over Olathan. It's a big forest, and you never know where the magic will start going wild. Well, it's crystal. Does water do anything to us? Nope. Okay. Open. Bear carving. Fun. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact. To protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. I love all my loot. I have to remember that, like, spacebar is not my climbing or jumping off. Ooh, blacksmith tools. Wherever these little bunnies are, truffles That's are. That's the edge of the bubble. Can't pass through it. We need to shut down the okay, artifact so first. Okay, the edge of the map. I love that there's art past the edge of the map, though. That's cool. All right, friends. Let's see. What are we gonna do? Go over to the other side. It seems. What? There's some stuff up here. This is sparkly stuff. I definitely need to see. Nothing, some just some beautiful world environmental details. Good with it. Is that water just swirling into the air? I've never seen that kind it of is. magical anomaly here before. We call it the whirlpool. They're not stuff usually this there. big though. definitely stuff to be had up here. Lore in particular. A barely legible note. A con construct broke my leg. Veridan took a blade to the gut. We can hear them above us on the bridge. Once they leave, we'll make a break for it. They can't wait on us. Wait for us forever. Uh-huh, they probably can. <laughs> Nug meat. Ooh, I don't know if that sounds very edible, but it's fine. Can I climb up from this point? No, I can't, so I need to go around. Uh, oh, okay, yep, I already got that one. Anything to attack yet? No. 
anything to pick up on the ground. So no? Perhaps? What's back here? Path to nowhere leaves somewhere. Sometimes. Hmm. Get up there. That looks to be just a bird. So we'll keep going. Let's see, let's look at our map, get an idea of where... Right, we're on a second floor now, so it's kind of going... Demon! Oh, hello. Then let's deal with them quick. Companion ability is used tab to select a companion ability. Each companion has their own special ability and can be selected from the ability wheel. Oh! Uh -huh. Grants enhanced damage, heals, instantly restores your health. Well, let's do you on that one. Uh, adrenaline rush grants enhanced damage. Yep. Both companions will attack this target. You attack that one. Fantastic. You use your ability. You use your ability. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, you punk. Oh, they. There we go. Press N to show your current quest and any relative objective markers. These will help guide you. Okay. That's fine. Um, did we finish exploring our little area over here? Because the only other area I was curious about was over here. I think this probably doesn't have. I think this is where we came from. Perhaps? Yes, that was just where we explored over the river. So we could have gone this way. Let's see. I just want to make sure there's nothing back here. Yep, I already got that chest. Okay. Then we are good to move forward. I'm assuming that these are destroyable. And they have gold in them. So those ones are worth I thought they were explosives for a moment, but those ones are worth exploring so a little bit. So what is this artifact we're looking for exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. Clues in the ruins? Indeed. So all of this stuff is destroyable. Fantastic. I love all the wolves everywhere. <gasps> These gorgeous little butterflies. Nice to find ruins that haven't been picked clean. Most. Oh. Plus 50% arrow regen, plus 50% weak point damage. People are too afraid to go this deep into Arlathan, except as veil jumpers. With how wild the magic's been here, I don't blame them. Uh, yeah. Magic's going cray cray and you're a normal citizen. Probably best to, uh. What was this place? 
Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. Wow. Whoa. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. It almost feels like an armory, or something like that. What's an armory doing this far out? Warlords. Ancient elves had a lot of them. Thanks for the truffles, little one. supposed to jump across oh no we can make a bridge there should be a power crystal somewhere nearby Go to <laughs> this thing? bring it over here and slot it in and there we go easy huh that's a great trick hey right. no loot to be found there we go A resonance Think for attack? It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. We need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Um. Uh, you know, we're, we're almost ready. Um, give me two seconds. No. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, but there's a lot to explore here. I'm just trying to make sure, you know, our adventuring team is set up for our future. You know, we're going to be doing this for a while. Like a white... Okay. I don't mean to be this person. No. You cannot attack the animals. Just so you know was just curious if there was going to be resources off animals and at the very least you cannot shoot the deer can use tinkering to repair certain elven technologies. Attack warning. Press spacebar to dodge. Yep. Okay. An indicator around your head will flash when there's an M coming melee attack. Oh. Dodge or defend. Well, nearby. Good to know. Here we go. <laughs> I saw that indicator and I still took it. Oh, I am like... Oh. Hello up there. Are there any behind us? No. Take it to him! Magic energy. Pat should be clear okay. ahead. Well, the veil crystal. Pat should be clear. Oh, we go up there now. Okay, okay, okay. Like, wait, is there another bridge to cross? 
Indeed there is not. And we can rest easy knowing we don't have to explore up there. Get our health back up there. Oop, there's a centennial. Big centennial boy. Too far. He's definitely going to kick on, is he not? Okay. Damn. Another sentinel construct. We'll have to take it down. enough but watch out uh -huh. whenever you see one there's more nearby that would that was that okay. this is definitely something oh uh, this is just like down there okay i love the environment detail it is so lush and so pretty Weather stained note. We have found the Usurper's archive spirit. It is not the Dread Wolf's creation as we surmised, but another's. You can guess whose. Removing it could be risky, but leaving it equally so. I await your orders. Oh, Elgernon. Oh. Mages have trouble with the artifacts here. They expect them to work like, you know, normal magic. But they're different. The magic's more alive somehow. Hello, Wolfie. More alive indeed. Whoa. What cool, like, flash attack? How did I do that? never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Oh, almost missed you. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm glad I looted that. There's a chest. But only chests are accompanied with danger. Okay. Oh, let's see. Ooh. Yes, please, my friend. Better blade would indeed serve me well. I know you guys are going to turn on. No? I don't trust this. These constructs! It means I was right. Right about what? About where we are. The armory. I think I know what the artifact is. Oh, now we deal with two of them. There we are. Simple enough. Okay, I just want to attack the boxes. <laughs> oh, we don't gotta look that hard into it. Let's just get the boxes. An inactive core. Okay. 
Continuing forth so to the temple. what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. I don't really want to use my bow and arrow considering they take time to recharge, but at the same time, flashing moves is going to be annoying. What in the living creepiness are you guys? Aww. You are creepy ghoul things. I do not like you. You are terrifying. I'm going to die. Dark spawn. Excellent form, Rook. Thanks, friend. Dark spawn. Here. Creepy. I never would have believed it. Until today. Sorry, dear. Must be. You died an unjust gross death. A lot of those things too. What do we have down here? Right. To at least another one of those resonance amplifiers get ready once i shut it down the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates S we got you back down there yeah okay oh come on i just poked the barrel thank you all right let's do this thing Fight. Are they gonna pop up? Oh, they're like excellent creepy form, people. Ah, you guys are creepy. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are mm. blighted, like Solus claims, maybe they're communicating with the Dark Spawn somehow, directing them. You saw those Dark Spawn, though. Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. They're also just really creepy. Come on, four of their, their zombie faces. Ah. Always check behind the corner. <laughs> the jump attack when I'm using ship to sprint is very aggressive. There's something shiny in that. What are these? <laughs> Those are explosives. I don't recommend uh, <laughs> hitting them. Melee attack. Ooh, there was something behind there. All right. Oh, 
Yeah, because let's see. Then, like, oh, yeah, yeah, there's little bags of stuff under them. The wall looks weak here. I bet we could break it Wait, somehow. What? I have to say. There's something shiny down there. Or maybe not. I wonder if that ballista could smash through this wall. I'm sure it could, but I am looking for loot, so... More dark spawn. Oh, hello. Right where you broke that wall. <laughs> yeah, I got you covered. Oh, hello. Any others? How does that not hurt, my friends? <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. Oh, that guy definitely dropped loot up there. <laughs> that made my life exceptionally easy. For that, I am grateful. Uh, I don't know if there's a way for me to climb up there. The way they did to get the loot. The Those are rocks. Sorry, I got distracted by the floating objects overhead. Oh my gosh, you're so enthusiastic. And another resonance uh, amplifier. Centennials. Should be the last one. I hope. Oh, the dark Me spawn too. stuff is kind of gross. Ugh. Icky. I don't like it. <laughs> I need to refill my potion since blowing myself up. Don't mind me. I know you're going to activate, so just do it. One of you is going to come to life. None until we activate this? Oh, okay. Go ahead, Bala. Okay, so let's do... Oh, you dodged me. Uh-uh. Nope. Go. We're close. I can feel it. Oh, that's cool. So if you like hold shift and your mouse click. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That's fun. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Yeah, it is almost like. <gasps> you cannot go down there. At least not that way, my friends. There are stairs. Take the stairs. They're way less dangerous. Oh, goodness me, oh my. Oh, wow. That was actually just wonderful. Um. Yeah, we're going for it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the same thing was going to happen. <laughs> Loop? Okay. And we know there's a little secret tunnel back here, so this is going to get destroyed. Read. The stench of decay fills the air. The Evanuris now wield power beyond anything I've seen. Their magic is fueled by corruption and death. 
and creeps even now into the stones. We cannot outlast this siege. Hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know, this is one way we can get over there, but this is a lot less fun way. It's fine. We got what we came for. <laughs> don't take the path more traveled. That's no fun. I know we don't really need health potions, but oh. There we go. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, Anatis Drathalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I uh -oh. don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. I cannot hear we'll before you ahead. activate. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Frenzied sentinel, huh? Oh, and demons. No. Get me away from you people. My friend. Oh, <laughs> that unfortunate friend just ran in front of my arrows. Nope. Not a single scratch on my head. We love to see it. Like, actually, I'm very happy with the combat in this game. <laughs> Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find Ooh. one. A better bow? <gasps> yes, please. Gimme, 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 gimme. Did I just do, like... Hmm, that was weird. It was like a little backstep thing. All right. Oh, there's like another one over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta go get it. Can we go get it? How do we go get it? I don't think it's an accessible thing. At least not until we open the door, perhaps? Has to be. Hmm. I am curious. There has to be another here? one of those power crystals around here somewhere. Okay. So let's see where this leads. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Another ballista. That's good. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the wall. Oh, hello. Any others gonna come waltzing through? No. Okay. And here's our power crystal. I 
I'm assuming this main door needs two of them to open. I love her shiny new bow and how it looks. It's cool. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Drithalin. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. My loot? Mm, let's see. I'm in broadsword. Oh. Wait. My guard. Oh, I have two daggers. I have two... Right, 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 right. I was like, wait, do I have another weapon type? But I just have two weapons that I fight with, so that makes sense. So now our weapons have all gotten a slight upgrade at this point. I'm very scared of that room, but we're gonna go check it out. Okay. Here it is. The Nautis Drithalin. So we take it in with good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. <laughs> I want to know what's tricky about it. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news <laughs> is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Mm. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. Um, my friend. It's like it's breathing. Because it is. Oh. Oh. Ogre. That's an ogre. Okay. Let let's 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 get some abilities set up here. Um, yeah. Let's get some headshots in on you now I can. Oop. Get out of this corner. Coming back. Oh, he likes jumping. Come here, friend. You take a headshot for me. Thanks. What do you guys got still? You got another fade bolt. I'm gonna do a rain of today, and you're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna not get hit by that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I am out of arrows, so now I need to get my... And I don't like that you're getting slow, because why are you getting slow? Is it just because you're... Nope. Not because you're almost dead. 
Ultimate. <gasps> oh, I have an ultimate. Build your ultimate meter by damaging enemies. Okay, let's hit our four button. Hey, we win. Easy. Well, wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. I love this girl. Okay. <laughs> it's just one of those days, guys. Let's World's ending, fighting see. ogres. It's fine. Okay, okay. There we go. Um, no, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. Um. Milady. Don't destroy the world. Okay, it worked. It's fine. We're fine. Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Hmm. Right. Um. I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. What do you. Oh no. Hmm. Guess it's broken like the rest of the artifacts. It isn't just any artifact. That's the Nautis Dirthalin, an archive spirit. And it does work. Or will, at least. Its crystal is broken. I guess maybe the blight threw its resonance off somehow. But I should Makes be sense. able to fix it. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. <laughs> Strife in Ireland will want to know about this, and the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Okay, I'm almost ready. I just need pick up the loot that I saw on the floor before we started this fight and this chest. Yep, this right here. All right. Let's check out our skills really quickly because we have gotten quite a few and we have two more points. Um, arrows gained after defeating an enemy. I like this idea. Um, hold your bow can now be charged to an additional level. Oh, that's kind of cool. What are we going into here? Like, what's this ability? Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, these aren't abilities. So these are abilities. Meaning quiver. Ooh, that's that's kind of cool. Explosive daggers. Well, do we want to go poisonous precision? It's necrotic weapons. Um, upgrades area. Ooh, I like this. We're going to go down here. Stagger from abilities. Have our companions. Oh, <gasps> we can. Yep. Fantastic. So it has all of them here. Storm. Oh, I think that's what I just picked up was Storm. No, oh, that's what she picked up. Why does she have Storm? Okay. Indeed. Yeah, I don't have a helm yet. Um... 
It just wants me to look at them all. I don't have a third ability, right? So there's one, two, three, and four. Well, you should definitely use that if you have that, Valora. Mm, but she also has skill points. Okay, okay. So what do we want her to be? A support? Hmm. Bail jumpers never know what the fight fade might throw at them. Is he a magical life flying? Lenish cooldown duration. Arm activation now also immovable. Do we want her to be more damagey? That's kind of cool. So these. And this is her fade bolts. <laughs> Volume magic to projectiles. Lives weakened, electricity, time slow. Time slow might be interesting. I kind of like the idea of this. Um, this also seems convenient for crowd control. Okay. So she's the only one with points, though. Map. Oh, cool. You can see the chest. That's cool. Our codex. Yes, we always have to click through these. Otherwise, you know, they won't go away. There is quite a few of these. We'll read through these more when we have more of them, but... I'm curious why the map is still blinking. Is it just because... Oh, journal. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. We here, and then we have our resources. Yeah, we already have sixteen hundred gold. Pays to be a loot goblin. Nice. Let's go ahead and slash this. And have, oh, our potions are still full. Okay. Like nothing up here, right? No, that's just where the troll came out of. All right, let's get heading out. Ready to go. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. This is... Mm, very not wounded, happy camp. Sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? 
We could ask it about the gods. Figure out their next move. Um. Honestly, at this point, we should probably focus Archive's on helping broken. the people. Won't tell us anything. But that doesn't matter. Any Dalish settlements we can save, we should. So far, we've been lucky and arrived just in time. But given how fast these dark spawn are moving, it's only a matter of time till our luck runs out. Well, it hasn't run out yet, so let's stretch it until it breaks. If we could predict where they'd strike next, we might get ahead of them. But so far, they've been unpredictable. Which leaves us with what? Demetis Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetis Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four. I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetos Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Try not to die. Or make things worse. And Rook. Yeah? Watch your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My back has been watched by three lovely people so far. I'll be fine. The team's help, Alara disabled an artifact and freed from the veil bubble. She has also uncovered an ancient repository of elven knowledge. Okay. If we are. Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to See. the dock. Knowledge of veil jumper ally. Okay, so we visit the merchant to buy new equipment. Log? Uh, nope. Journal? Any others? No. There's the merchant. Again, fast travel. Let's just go take a peek at the merchant. Can't hurt, right? What? Looking to inflict some pain? I have what you need. Action straight. So, oh, whoa. Let's sell that. Hmm. Well, I'm a veil jumper, so I feel like I should dedicate. A lot of my stuff to them. I don't want to sell materials, though. What can I buy? Uh, weapons. I could buy something for them. Would be 250, 250. Stuff I can buy for myself. 25% damage versus barrier, 15% weak point. So I could grab this for 400 gold. I think this means they need to be like tier seven with them because I'm already level four shop rank three. I kind of want to just grab this as well. Do we go ahead and upgrade them? She just got a bow. But it might be a decent spend of gold. Get her one? I don't know how a shop levels up, but... It's going to be fine. Oh, I see how it levels up. Uh, rank up merchant. Right. Sell valuables. I sell. Yeah. Right, and I need 50 wood. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. That's right there. Okay, we can level up the shop later. Try not to die. Um, we've got a helm now, so we'll do that. Don't want to see this. 
Um, Harding, you get a new bow. Yeah. Laura, she has all her abilities here. Didn't we level up the galvanized? Could probably put the tear on there. Oh yeah, I can use that. Okay. Thanks for caring. Fantastic. Is there anything worth looting over here? It's always worth checking, right? But there is a funky mirror. Ooh. Mirror seems like it's gonna be important in the future. Anything up here? Oh, some lore stuff. Hmm. Okay. That is not destroyable. Okay. I know this is town, so, and I know I shouldn't really be looking for stuff, but <gasps> there is stuff, so you know. Got some uh, heartwood. I consider that pretty important. Go down to the docks. Seems like a lot's happened around here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. Whole lot of blood magic during the war. What about now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Ooh, see. We take it over here, what happens? Kinda thought there might be something to bring it to. There we go. The bridge. Convenient. Ah! Oh, I feel like I definitely might have died if I fell in the water. Heartwood and more ore. Burial weave. Seems long used what to stuff. You? That was the capital city, Orlathan. This is what's left of it after the war. Let's see. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. You drowned. We cannot swim. Just in case you're wondering. Oh, they're like tree people. People that have been like encapsulated as Oh nice, a bridge. Okay. inaccessible okay so we probably need another character that we meet later on down the line for that so this is like the first time we are on a little bit more of a loose map with areas that they intend us to revisit so that's cool Rook, ready to go um let me take one last little look around I don't know how far we're going to get in any direction. I won't spend... The secrets of the past now hidden to each and every man forbidden, but seek ye a watchful eye, find a key in the owl's cry. Huh. A giant owl. Must be something to this. Yes, there is. This poor deer. 
Something in the owl's cry. Can I like destroy this? Get out of there! Oh, ow. It's a large radius. Oh, and it does come back. There's another character. Oh. <laughs> intriguing. Utterly intriguing. So how would one... There's like hardwood over there. So nothing there. No, we can't really go in the water. So that's out of the question. The boat's not going to be very useful for going up there. Ah, wait. here. Oh, there's something up there that the girl can... Okay. Well, we're not going to waste too much time with this right now. I'm not... We're solving riddles at this moment. But I would rather... Back to it. I can see that there's something that we need to get up on. Might potentially make more sense a little later. Nev, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's go. Okay. Please don't die, Nev. Ooh, eerie. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. Yeah, I don't know how many alive people we're going to find in this little village. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. <laughs> this giving Diablo vibes. Not like that rumble. Don't mind me. <laughs> I destroyed all their stuff. Where are you going? The town square is this way. 
Be right there. I know, I know I'm coming. It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. Yeah, they like barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. Hmm. So they tried to barricade it. Oh man, I just walked into Diablo. It's blight. Even worse than in the forest. Must keep oh. everyone in. Mustn't let anyone out. Oh. You okay? Hello, friend. What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Oh. 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 Yeah. We'll be rewarded. All of us. No. You can't leave. Hey. Can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Uh huh. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. Ugh. The town square. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. This is intense. Look, I do not want to walk in that stuff. I am uncomfortable. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Orlathan. I can't believe this happened. Um. My friend. Something large is coming. Look. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there. Oh. Hello. This blight is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's yeah. keep going. Might be more survivors. Survivors? I think that's a bit of a stretch of a word. Um. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there, two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the veil jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Okay. Why were they looking for veil jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? Maybe thinking they're the only ones? Oh my gosh, big creepy pit. Look, more people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. This is very gruesome. I'm blighted. Oh, I do not want to go in this creepy tunnel. scene awaits us. Okay. Milva! Another veil jumper. Ballora.
Jahel, he's alive. Bilara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods, the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Belar, oh, this is gruesome. Be careful. Hello. The dragon. Here. No, 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 please. Hey. Okay. You're the mayor of this town. The village. The people. Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. Uh, you need to tell You're us going something. anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told by a me cart to lure the veil gold. jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. Uh, yeah. All this for gold. The villagers, the veil jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demeter's crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited <laughs> his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blights. Everywhere, what if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? I don't know. I'm kind of a... Um... I really just want to leave him here, if I'm being honest. Like, what if he's still corrupted? He's... Mm, ugh. Let's get him out of there. What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? 
Yeah. He's greedy and pathetic, but that doesn't mean he deserves to die. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it's, it's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, because if you come back in the story, buddy, well, you're you dead. You should be worried about you're the rest dead. of the world. Or this will be our future. Yeah, that's intense. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Ugh. Doing the game. Okay, fast travel. Alright, so we can like fast travel to town essentially. This is a fast travel point, but I think I have to like run it. Activate it. Wait. I think it's through there though. Can we go through here now? No. So the fast travel point's on the other side. Yeah. All right. Report what we found. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elganon and Gilanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. Oh? They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Oh, Morrigan. Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. Mm, yeah. Glad for then I help. look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What Wait, can you tell I just us saw about a dragon, okay? We need help. As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Hmm. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history. 
and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his... well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods! And they're killing people and blinding the world! How do we stand up against that? We work together. None of us can do this alone. But we can stop them together. Alara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Illuvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well, and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born, or slain. <laughs> in or this slain. battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. Hey. Oh, this increases like the veil jumper strength. That's cool. <laughs> 